this is what I made in my first month. You gotta get into tech. What's up, y'all? Welcome to the channel. I'm Tech Bag Trey, and today I'm sharing with y'all my first bonus check as a SDR. All right, I'm gonna show y'all how much it was. And um, just before I get into that, though, I really wanted to kind of talk about how that bonus is structured, like how all of how do you get to that, right? Like what does it take to end up getting a bonus check when you're in tech sales? So with that being said, how bonuses are structured, it really varies um, for each company because in each company you're really dealing with different software, right? So I deal with real estate property management software and with that you have uh, a certain process that you have to get these property managers through. And my portion of it is to set up that meeting, right? So if you don't know, I'm in the entry level tech sales role, right? So some people know that as an SDR. Um, my company specifically calls it a BDR or a business development rep. And in these roles, you get a base salary, right? So something that you can live off of, something that is not uh, something to really throw at, right? It's, it's a fairly decent amount for your base salary, but then they also give you a good old commission, a good old bonus. And that happens, like I, I can't speak for every company, right? But for the most part, every month. And then um, you have those extra quarterly and then maybe a yearly if you're in the corporate side. And, you know, those deals in the bigger companies, that you um, that people who deal with bigger companies they take a longer time to really go through and that sales process is longer so uh, they kind of maybe do theirs uh, they have the same bonuses as well but then they get another chunk of change uh, every quarter or every year as well because of the hard work that it takes to really get those big deals done and through and I'm talking about the entry level right the entry level and that's an SDR BDR and I'm only talking about the bonuses today, guys, all right, because that's what we want to know about. So at my company, bonuses are calculated by, one, what level BDR you are. So we have a small business, we have mid-market, we have corporate, and then we have, like, uh, this newer level that deals with the really, really gigantic companies, and um, they try and set meetings for uh, the larger AEs who deal with those same. But that being said, depending on what level you are, right, uh, in a BDR, that depends on your bonus structure. So today I'm going to talk about the small business because that's where I am. I'm in the small business and in our bonus structure, you get paid on the units and the unit count. So we start at 50. So anything that is 50 units and above, that's what you get a bonus on as soon as they turn into a discovery meeting. Real quick, shout out to our sponsor for the episode, Level Careers. A lot of people have been asking me, like, Yo, Trey, I'm not sure if tech sales is for me. Um, I'm a little shy and nervous. And I try and tell them, like, hey, those are some of the best people when it comes to business to business sales, but they're still like, ah, I don't know. I've been on the search because they still were asking, like, but I want to get into tech. Help me out. So I found the best way to get into cybersecurity, and that's Level Careers. Level Careers is four ninety seven, okay? But it helps you get into cybersecurity, all right? So cybersecurity, the main purpose of cybersecurity and all of that is to protect all of the organization's assets, all right? There are people who are trying to steal information every single day, seven days, 24 hours a week. Look, your job in cybersecurity is to stop those people from getting that info. And they pay a lot of money to do that. Understand this, the way the world is going, everybody is gonna be digital. You're going to need someone in cybersecurity helping protect all the digital assets. So why not let that be you? All right, right now, these people are making bank, okay? All right, the average, the national average is $113,000 salaries, okay? Y'all, what can you do with $113,000? I, I know what I can. 
you need to think about what you can do. If level careers and cybersecurity is something that you're thinking about getting into, click the link in the description or the QR code here at the top of the screen. It will give you all the information. Also, if you use Tech Bag at checkout, they're going to give you 10% off for rocking with your boy. All right. So that being said, check out Level Careers. It can change your life. All right. If you don't want to be in anything else, but you know you want to be in tech, do it now. Don't delay. Back to the episode. So now that we know how bonuses are calculated, this is what I made in my first month. Now, not bad. All right. 300 and some dollars is not bad at all. I will take it all day, every day. And I know you will too. All right. So now that we know how much I made, um, let's break down uh, how sometimes how they're structured. So we have inbound opportunities and then we have outbound opportunities. So an opportunity that's like, hey, you set this meeting and then now the account executive has said this meeting is going to go to a discovery call and a demo. So good to go. Good job. You're going to get paid, right? Outbounds are a little bit harder, right? You got to go get that. You got to uh, call up somebody out of the blue and um, set a meeting with your account executive. So because you have to do that, you get paid a little bit more because that's a little bit more difficult to do. Um, there are companies that have all inbound, right? So they just do all inbound leads and then the SDR or BDR, they call those leads and then close those on a meeting because um, it might sound easy, but there's always something, you know, you know, there's, uh, not, it's not always just super straightforward, like, hey, I want this product, and then you're able to set up the meeting and get it to them. Sometimes people are not qualified to use your product, right? You, you have to have some sort of standard. You can't be just out here giving up everything to everybody, like, y'all aren't ready yet. So you have that's what we call for, though. So we're calling to qualify and quantify and make sure that they can actually use our product. And if they can, then we can push them on. And then that counts as a lead. And when it comes to the inbound, it can really rack up. So you have a certain goal that you need to get to. Some companies, their their goal is a lot higher and some of them are a lot lower because it depends on what software you're dealing with. If you're uh, you know, if it's something that a whole lot of people can use or you're the first to market, then you'll probably have a higher goal because you can get a lot more people in. Um, if it's something that's been around a little bit, um, it's a little bit harder to do. People are already set. You know, they you got to really find that pain and then close them on that kind of meeting. So it it really depends on where you are and that depends on how much or how little your goal is for your bonus check, right? This is outside of your check. So some people, I, I think some companies, they actually blend it both together. So, you know, on your check, you'll see the uh, bonus and your regular uh, weekly paycheck or biweekly paycheck. But my company, they do it separate. So they'll send you your check and then they send you a separate check like, Obviously, it comes in the same time, but you can see which one is which. Outbound opportunities, though, because for us and my company, that's really how you get promoted, right? It, anybody, not anybody, but it's a lot easier to just take in inbounds. But if you can really do an outbound and really close someone on a meeting just by calling them up, that's a little bit different, and that's what they look for in my company for promotion. So you need a couple of those a month. Now, sometimes it's all inbound, and you know outbounds are hard. You can't can't really can't predict what's going to happen. So that being said, though, there are people in my in my company that exceed the goal. And when I got my first bonus, I got to witness some other people who got their bonus who. Hey, while I was still learning, they've been in the game and they exceeded their target. Now, when it comes to that, they reward you even more. So what we have is called accelerators. So if you just do one more over your goal, those numbers go up on what they pay, not on one for every single opportunity you did. Y'all, they just they're throwing money. OK, um, that's craziness. That's crazy. Crazy. All you did was one more than the goal. 
and then ran the check up like that. That's a whole nother check. So, I mean, yeah, I'm I'm excited, okay? Because I'm just sitting here. I'm thinking like, yo, what? Actually, I'm going to ask y'all. What could you do every month with an additional? We're not even going to say you're going hit to the, hit the goal every month. What if you, you got close? What could you do with $750 to $900 a month every month outside of your check that's coming in? What would that do for you? I mean, if you live with some other people, that's, hey, your rent is taken care of. That's a real, real, real nice car note just taken care of, just like that. That's them new shoes you was looking for. What I mean, I don't know. I don't know what you like. I know what I like, but I don't know what you like. So just think about that, y'all, all right? And if, if you are not getting these type of bonuses where you are now, right, you're probably getting it um, at the end of the year. You know, you get that end of the year bonus. Uh, and by the way, guys, just to let you in on that, your company really don't want to give you that. Um, they're trying to save on taxes. So right before the end of the year, hey, we got to get rid of some money. Let, let's give them a little bonus. All right? That's really what that is. If they could, they'd keep it. Now, if you're on the sales team, they're trying to throw it at you because they want you to make more. They want you to make more because the company makes more. So with that, if you're not getting those type of bonuses and things at the company you're at right now on a monthly basis, right, or quarterly basis, or maybe you are and it's just not that much, right? Remember, this is the first one. I, I didn't know what was going on. I didn't I didn't hit any goals like that, right? But, y'all, it's crazy. If you're not getting that and you think, like, man, what? maybe I could get into tech. Maybe this is for me. There are ways that you can get in. You don't need a degree, right? You can go and apply and get in one of these companies and start getting these type of bonuses as well, along with your base salary pay every single month. Now, if you're somebody who's like, yeah, I can, but I need some, I need some help with this, right? Check out Course Careers. Course Careers, if y'all don't know, that's what I use to get my foot into the tech door, and I have not looked back, okay? Course Careers, it gave me a way to be able to learn the things I needed to learn to be in tech sales. Not only that, if you have no experience, they can help you get experience. They can help you, if you do well enough, get a job, right? So the thing is, it shows you how to get in the industry, but then outside of that, how to get the job after that, which is the most important part. So if you do want to get into tech and you don't know what, where to go or how to do it, click the link in the description below or scan the QR code on the screen and that way you can learn about how to get into this industry, how to make these type of bonuses, how to really just change your life. So with that said, y'all, how can I increase this next month, all right, and the following months after that? For one, it starts by hitting my goals, all right, so definitely got to do that. But then focus heavily on the outbound targets, right? With the outbounds, you get more money, and that's what they're looking at when it comes to promotion. So why not just focus there? The inbounds are going to come. I'm going to put all my eggs on the outbound and really learn this thing and learn how to really close someone on a meeting and just try and get better and better every single month, every single week, and we'll see where this thing goes. And by the way, guys, this was the next bonus check I got. Got a little better. We'll see where it goes from here. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.